वेलकम बैक टू द माइक्रो थियरी एंड टेक्निक्स लैब टूडे विल सी द फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्टरी लैब लैब ऑफ द माइक्रो थियरी एंड टेक्निक्स इन दिस लैब वी विल सी द इंट्रोडक्शन टू द माइक्रो बेंच एंड द अदर डिवाइसिस सो फॉर परफॉर्मिंग द वेरियस माइक्रोवेव प्रैक्टिकल्स वी विल यूज द माइक्रो बेंच सो दिस बेंच कंसिस्ट ऑफ द डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट ऑफ द माइक्रो बेंच सो फॉर परफॉर्मिंग द एनी माइक्रो प्रैक्टिकल्स वी नीड ए आर एफ पावर सप्लाई सो देर आर मेनली टू टाइप्स ऑफ द आर एफ पावर सप्लाई वन इज कोल्ड द क्लाइस्टोन बेस्ड पावर सप्लाई एंड सेकेंड वन इज कोल्ड द गन बेस्ड पावर सप्लाई हियर इन दिस सेटअप वी हैव ए गन पावर सप्लाई बेस पावर सप्लाई बेस्ड माइक्रोवेव सेटअप सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट देर इज ए गन पावर सप्लाई ऑफ द वन ऑफ द कंपनी सो इन दिस गन पावर सप्लाई देर इज ए different uh, knobs for generating the gun bias voltage and pin modulating output so by simply changing this uh, this knob you can change the the gun bias voltage on and off so by varying this gun bias variable knob you can change the gun bias voltage here in the lower side you will find there is a modulation block so using this uh, uh, modulation block either you can generate the am signal or a fm signals so particularly in this case we have a am signal am modulated signals with uh, these two knobs which actually vary the amplitude of the am wave and the frequency of that and where here this modulation block will be considered as a modulating signal so here by simply changing this amplitude and frequency of that uh, knob you will vary the modulating frequency the range of this uh, amplitude and the frequencies are uh, up to certain voltage and uh, some 1 kilohertz signals so 1 to maximum 2 kilohertz frequency will be generated by this modulating signals here at the there are two type of the the uh, display modules one is the gun bias voltage which is will be displayed on the left side of the panel while on the right side of the panel we will find the current which is flowing gun bias current which is flowing uh, will be displayed so at the uh, this uh, right side there are two block one is the gun bias uh, uh, coaxial output point and there is a another pin modulator output so here this two point here this two point will be used to feed the gun bias in the pin modulating uh, uh, signal into the micro bench so let me show you now uh, this two Uh, gun bias voltage <coughs> and the pin modulating signals is feed into the the gun oscillator and the pin modulator respectively so the output of the gun bias is is feed to the gun oscillator while the pin modulating uh, voltage uh, is feed to the pin modulator so what will happen that the depending upon the which type of the uh, on the what kind of the the rf uh, oscillating signals that you want to feed into the micro bench uh, we have to use this gun oscillator so function of this gun oscillator is to generate the micro frequencies so for that case uh, here there is a there is a varying port so by moving this uh, port either in inward side or uh, outward side you will get the different oscillating frequencies rf frequencies inside this micro bench so what kind of the rf signal that you want k 
can be obtained using this gun oscillator so uh, this gun oscillator will generate the up to the 12 gigahertz signals so the range of this uh, micro range frequencies is from 8 gigahertz to 12 gigahertz so this gun oscillator will support the 8 to 12 gigahertz frequencies so this gun oscillator frequencies can be controlled by this uh, gun bias uh, voltage so uh, here using this pin modulator the the modulating signal is feed inside the micro bench and uh, uh, because of this uh, uh, gun oscillator and this pin modulator the modulated data is present uh, in the micro bench so ultimately at the output of the pin modulator now uh, we will have a uh, rf modulated uh, uh, signals and that will be propagated uh, inside now the this micro bench so now next uh, very important uh, component is the isolator so the function of this isolator is to flow the rf signal inside the the micro bench in a unidirection way only so any signal which is coming back to the the source side will be eliminated by the isolator so isolator here uh, is can also be can also be designed using a circulator so here there is a two port uh, isolator you will also find there is a three port circulator and that can be converted into the isolator by matching the third terminal impedance match so now we have a another very important uh, uh, component item is variable attenuator so in some of the practical aspects we need to attenuate the RF signal too and here um, by uh, choosing the different depth of the this uh, variable attenuator uh, the signal can be attenuated so here uh, we can say that it is a, a variable attenuator so by choosing the different uh, depth of that uh, uh, strip uh, uh, the different uh, level of the microwave attenuation can be achieved so it is a variable type attenuator same way there is a fixed type attenuator that i will show you later so that fixed type of the attenuator uh, can uh, give you the fixed amount of the db attenuation for example uh, 3 db attenuation 6 db attenuation 9 db attenuation or 10 db attenuation so depending upon the different design you will find the different uh, level of the attenuation now there is another very important uh, part of this micro bench and it is called the direct frequency meter so it is a frequency meter so uh, if we have to know the what is the unknown frequency present inside this uh, micro bench and that can be measured that can be recorded using this uh, direct frequency meter so by this can uh, this uh, frequency meter is basically uh, work in the form uh, of the principle of the kvt resonator so by simply changing uh, either in a uh, upward side or or moving in a downward side uh, we will obtain the some dip and that dip can be used to measure the unknown frequencies the next part is the slotted section so this slotted sections you can see uh, is uh, having a some uh, a slot inside the waveguide so this slotted sections uh, generally uh, is used to measure the the guide wavelength or can be used to measure the unknown frequency of that uh, microwave source so if we have to measure the uh, the guide wavelength or unknown frequencies uh, we may have to use this uh, moving part 
so by simply moving this uh, knob either in a forward direction or either in a reverse direction sir, we will try to get the uh, maximum Vmax or minimum voltage V minimum so by simply measuring either the Vmax or V minimum we may find out the the guide wavelength or the unknown frequencies practical so this slotted sections is generally used with the the variable uh, RF probe so let me show you this uh, variable probe uh, can be inserted in this way over this uh, point and uh, because of this tunable probe uh, the RF modulated signal which is present uh, inside this guide will be demodulated using this uh, tunable probe and the low frequency modulating signal once again uh, coming back uh, to the CRO and that will be observed and uh, we will try to measure the, the, the low modulating frequency signals. So this is what the use of the, the tunable frequency probe. So this tunable frequency uh, probe can also be uh, you will find the fixed type or the tunable type. So here there is a tunable type probe uh, which can be tuned by simply uh, um, doing the either upward movement or either by the downward movement. So next uh, item is the uh, detector mount so as i mentioned that sometimes you may have to measure the uh, the you need not to use this slotted section so in that case uh, uh, for measuring the low modulating signal back uh, we have to use the detector mount so the function of this demodulator mount is uh, same as our tunable probe so it will uh, uh, demodulate the rf signals and give you back the modulating low frequency signal to the cro so this way these are the main uh, main uh, uh, rf microwave uh, micro bench uh, component which are going to use for performing the various practicals of the microwave theory and technique so we will see the next few important uh, uh, component in our later part.